Ron, my final question for you is importance of content creation. I felt in the last four years, everyone is presenting something on LinkedIn, either a video like what we're doing, sure. or they read a chapter and they talk about it, or they read an article and they're giving their ideas. But for some people still creating content is not natural for them. For me, it took me maybe one, one hour to create my first video, which was one minute. The words were not coming. <laughs> I didn't know what right. I was doing. Right. And I felt that we've met through content because I was interviewing Craig Fisher and you made a comment and I mm -hmm. started a conversation and now here we are. So what can you say for people who are not used to creating content? How can they start? Don't be afraid. Um, again, it goes back to, and I think we discussed this in one of the other questions, it goes back to being authentic. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be... You don't have to have something witty or uh, or a great pun in order to get visibility, right? Uh, you need to have something that reflects something that you're passionate about because passion always comes through. If that's passion about your job, passion about a cause, passion about uh, a, a social issue that's mm -hmm. going on, step up and talk about the things that matter to you. But content creation for me, uh, I struggled like that in the very beginning. Uh, I was like, well, I got to have something that's really snappy and because I needed every post that I put out to get 5,000 views or 6,000 views or whatever number I had set in my head, whatever arbitrary number uh, I had come up with. And that's just not, that's not real. Um, it takes time. Content doesn't, content uh, uh, doesn't automatically get views the minute you drop it up there. Very few things go viral, right? Your first time. When you look at content, you want to put up things that reflect who you are, what you think what you're about and do that consistently. Yeah. Some people will tell you, you need to put up content three times a day. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I, I post sometimes it's three times a day. Sometimes it's five times a day. Sometimes it's once a day. Sometimes it's not. Yeah. And it's because I'm, I'm just going with the natural flow uh, of yeah. my life. Now on the magazine side on intelligence, yes. we post a lot more, uh, a lot more regularly because yeah. we are, trying to get the word out about what we're trying to do there. Yes. Um, you know, you mentioned Craig Fisher. Uh, Craig is great at producing content. Yes. Um, but he's selective about what he puts out, right? Yes. Uh, Lou Adler is another person who, um, uh, who uh, uh, is a contributor uh, for Intelligent, and he puts out content, but on a very selective basis. Mm -hmm. So do the things that feel right to you, um, and it could be any kind of content. It could be um, a graphic, it could be just straight text, it could be a video, yeah. whatever you feel the most comfortable with yes. and mix it up, do different yeah. things, um, but share you because your brand, your who you are is the thing that's going to grow your network uh, because there are other people out there just like you yes. who are going to see that content. Um, what I would say is in addition to putting content up that reflects who you are and what matters to you, do a little research and understand how to use hashtags. Yes. Understand where you can insert hashtags into into the into the text of content. Yes. Right. Uh, and and the hashtag strategy that I use um, is typically I could sometimes have more than three, but very often I'll have them in sets of three where I'll have three that are very general, three that are a little more specific and three that talk specifically about mm -hmm. the topic that I happen to be on. Then I do research on LinkedIn to see what are the top hashtags in each area so yeah. that I understand that you may not want to, as a, as a, you know, kind of a more uh, casual uh, content creator, you may not want to do that, yeah. um, but it never hurts to, to put in the right hashtag to get something noticed, right? Cause you could have a great piece of content, mm -hmm. do no hashtags and nobody sees it yeah. except inside your network. And that's really right. not what you're what you're going for. Yeah. Those are great tips, Ron. I really appreciate that. And with Thank that, you. my interview with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. I hope yeah. the audience will implement some of the tips that we talked about over the next over the last seven videos. And again, if you have any other tips in terms of content creation, please leave comments below and tune in next time for another great I'm preparing for you guys. And just to mention also that this will be my last video from Vancouver, BC. So next time you're going to see me from somewhere else. So tune in. So Ron, again, thank you very much and keep thank in touch. You. Bye, buddy. Bye now.